Well, hello there, Dukla here, and today we're playing IL-2, 1946. This is a game I got on Steam. It has all of the expansions included. Um, <clears throat> has a lovely career mode, but today we're going to look at a single mission. So, this has quite a few choices. Finland, Germany, Hungary, Imperial Japanese Army, Navy, RAF, RN, I'm not sure. Royal, Royal Navy. Um... And then all these other ones, U.S., United States, blah, 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 USR, the USSR, and they all have different planes, different music based on, like, which one you click. For example, if we go click United States Navy. So they're all different. <clears throat> I think we're going to do Finland because that sounds uh, kind of odd. <laughs> Let's fly a Fiat. Convoy cover, it sounds really boring. Let's do oh, a Fokker D21. Let's try that one. Uh, defending? No. I'm really bad at this game, by the way. Have not played it enough. Um, fly combat patrol near the front. Okay. Let's do that. Now, I can say arming. Here's what I have um, an empty cowling MG tracer only. How would you want that? Okay, now we can go customers and see what the aircraft aircraft looks like, because I don't know what it looks like. Okay, here we go. Oh, careful. This is this is terrible the way they have this set up, this little spin thing. Like, I don't I have no idea. It's not very intuitive. Uh, so anyway. Yep, it's a plane alright. It doesn't have retractable landing gear, that's interesting. Uh, but it is a Fokker, so it must be outstanding. We can choose um, a weapon loadout. Don't really have a choice there because we are Finland. Um, don't have a squadron choice. You can choose different skins, so you could probably add more skins. You can choose how your pilot looks and everything. Anyway, we're done that. We're going to say fly. <clears throat> I am using a joystick, of course, for this. Um, I've never flown this plane, though. So... That could be bad. Also, I feel like when you're trying to... <clears throat> excuse me. When you're trying to taxi in this game, it, it doesn't seem to work very well. Also, I'm on a snow strip. Well, I'm in Finland, aren't I? Okay, so it's me and one other guy, and I am in the front. So it's I to turn your engine on in this game, of course. It's like three different engine controls I need to remember right now for today. <laughs> um, and then there's a, there's a button for your chocks. So, like, if you're on an aircraft carrier, you want to put put your your chocks in before you see, turning quite violently to the left there, or to the right, I mean. Carefully, 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 carefully. Ah. Uh. Aha! Uh -huh. And we would hit G now to put our landing gear in, but that's not an option for us. <laughs> okay, so now, let's just... Whoa! Um, let's figure out where the fuck we are. Well, I have no idea. I zoomed out for a second, and now I have no idea where I am. Somewhere in here, maybe? Okay, here's a... Oh, here we go. So here's the uh, here's where I'm supposed to be following some of these lovely points. We've got one. I wish you could shift this map over, because if I could just move the map over a little bit, that would be great. So I don't know what the hell kind of guns we have. Just some sort of shitty MG, I think. Looks like two of them? No, no. There must be some on the wings. Let's see. Oh no, there's just two on the wings. There's none on the cowl. I see. So that option for taking the tracer on the cowl would probably have been a good idea, although these seem to have tracers in them anyway. <clears throat> um, F1. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. What the hell? That's a bad noise. Oh, I just remembered I should turn my power back down. So some of the planes you can go overpower with, but the it's bad for the engine. Some of the engine will just catch fire and stuff. I, I was flying a like an early jet, and then the engine caught fire. That wasn't really fun. Um, oh shit, I've missed the turn. So this has no icons, like, on the map, like, in the 
game itself, so you have to look at your map to know where you are and when to turn. I like that that's realistic, but also it's kind of fucking annoying. Um, and when I say kind of fucking annoying, I mean I, I hate it and that shouldn't be like that. However, there probably is an option to change it in the menu and I just never looked. And I don't plan to. <laughs> um, might as well just leave it how it is. That's how it was supposed to be played. I don't think you have limited ammo in this. <clears throat> um, I don't think you have a time speed. Oh shit, you do. Okay, let's see if we can fly like this with the time sped up. Boom, boom, boom. So I don't know what the hell I'm actually doing on this mission. I think I'm just looking for bad guys. Um, which is totally fine. Also, I don't know at this point... I'm Finland. I don't know what year it is. I wasn't paying attention. Because it could be... I'm about to be invaded by... I'm fighting Soviets? Or... Oh. How we doing? It's alright, I guess. I'm either fighting Soviets or... Germans... I'm fighting the Soviets because it's red down there. It says USSR, so... That would be my enemy. Let's just correct this because every plane in every flight sim wants to go up and to the left, it seems like. Okay. Now this actually does have a system for, like, trimming. Is it this? There we go. Okay, so I've trimmed that a little bit too much, actually. Whoa. So you can see that I'm not flying up as much. I'm actually flying down a bit. So I'm just going to try to correct it until it's somewhere in the middle. Alright, still going up a bit. Come on, stay straight now. That's actually pretty good there. So there we go. Um, I always seem to get off course on these little pictures. Always seem to do. Get off the course. Get off the course. I'm the designated course. So up here is an airfield. I don't know if it's my airfield or bad guy airfield. Or what. It's on my side of the lines, the border. We'll have to see. Also, something I don't like about the IL series is they have the colors reversed, so all of the... No, wait a minute. Are they right on this one? I can't tell. You're blue, right? You're fighting red. That's actually right. Wow, I feel like an idiot now. Because before it seemed like you were always fighting blue and you were red, and I was like, why is that the case? You should always be blue fighting red, because that's just like... All video games are like that. You just have blue and red, and you're usually blue, and you fight against red, and it's just a nice color-coded? I don't know. It just makes everything easier to understand. Jeez, the plane does not like it when I pitch down slightly. It starts shaking like crazy and sputters. You know, I think this Fokker might be a piece of crap. Just might be. I mean, I can't believe it. I don't believe it is. I don't know. It's not possible. I'm such a profound engineer. I don't think it can be garbage. Let's see if we can go a bit, speed it up a bit. <clears throat> it does highlight other planes and stuff when you're near them or when you can see them. Um, however, once they are off your screen, you cannot see where they have gone. So it's not like Rise of Flight where you get that little arrow, which I like. It is something else. <laughs> I think I might be doing this wrong, by the way, because uh, because this arrow thing seems to be telling me to go back to that other position. I might have done this backwards, actually, um, which would be upsetting to me. If you put this on eight times, you can really get it done. Look at this. Just zipping right along. Copyright, copyright, copyright. Okay. Keep it easy. Oh, look, bad guys. 
Okay, there. I totally completed my mission. Now we're gonna go get into a fight, because that's fun. And I want you guys to see me get fucking shot down, because I totally will. A little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. Alright, shit. Oh, there they are. We spotted them. Now I have this really, sco this scope thing. I don't... Oh, apparently I can hit that for Roger. Um, I don't really know how this scope works. So this is going to be unfortunate. Because I don't know how fucking close I am. I'm going to turn my power up. Big time power. Okay, that guy's breaking off to come and fight me. Oh no, they've all split apart. Take this! I don't even know if I'm close to you or not. Oh, they're in biplanes. That's precious. Let me have a look and see what my control is. Is it this? No. Yeah, I don't know what the button is. I looked through all the controls, of which there's about 9,000, by the way, and I could not find the gun sight button. Um, the one I did think it was, it didn't work, so... Very unfortunate, because I could probably have shot this man down. If I just kind of blindly shoot towards him. Oh, fuck. No! Not today! Ah! This handle's worse than... Holy crap, I cannot get out of this. Come on! Come on! Ah, damn. Engine on fire, fuel tank on fire, player killed. Look, I smashed through the ground, that's how hard I hit it. Son of a bitch. That is some high graphical tree, look at that. It's got three whole flat bits. <laughs> anyway, if you guys want to see more of this, I might do um, a career of this, because I think a career of this would be fun, uh, provided I could find the right plane for me, uh, and the right front, because you can play almost any front in this, so, um, that would all be good, 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 um, so yes, let me know if you want to see some more, and, um, I'm gonna go off and play some Ace Patrol now, so thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time, goodbye!